Hey guys, Viking Guitar here. Um, today we're going to do another uh, kind of directed, finite little recording tutorial, mixing tutorial. And this is in response to a specific question I got on my YouTube channel um, on my video about uh, Reaper FXNs and sidechain compression. Um, in that video, I did what pretty much everyone does that's demonstrating sidechain compression. And I talked about using a kick drum to duck a bass signal, because that's one of the more common things you would use sidechain compression for. And in response to that video, I got a comment from a fellow by the name of Martin Weeks. Um, Martin has a specific mixing situation he's in that um, my video wasn't providing him um, with the answer he was looking for. Um, basically, Martin has a vocal line. And on that vocal line, which I'm hoping is recorded dry, we'll get into that, um, the vocal line is supposed to have reverb and delay on it, or some combination of effects that have a tail, so that when the vocal line stops, this effects aux bus with reverb and delay or whatever is going to continue sounding past the point where the original dry source audio cuts. So what Martin Weeks wants to do is use sidechain compression so that that effects channel with the reverb and the delay is diminished or muted when the vocals themselves, the original vocals, are sounding, and then when the vocal signal stops, he wants that effect to come back up. Um, this is something that, of course, you could do by routing everything to an aux send, rendering that with the effects in place, and then doing manual volume automation, um, but that's... Uh, you know, it's kind of time consuming. Um, there are times you might want to do it that way if you need the specific level of control that um, that would allow for. But if you want to set it up with a sidechain compression, luckily there is a way to do it. As always, we're going to be using Reaper for this, but the concepts behind it can be applied to any DAW that you're using. And we're going to be using um, free downloadable um, effects plugins for this, specifically um, the Ambience Reverb plugin and the Classic Delay plugin. So let's jump into it. All right, Martin, so what we have here, um, as you can see, is we have our dry vocal line here. Let's just increase the size of that for the sake of argument. Um, I cannot sing, so I recorded this little spoken word audio, and it goes a little something like this. Hi, Martin. I'm a pretty terrible singer, so instead of providing a sung vocal track, I'm just going to provide a little bit of light narration. This should have the same effect in that it has periods of time during which there is speech, and then periods of time where there is no speech. Hopefully, this will serve as an effective demonstration of using sidechain compression to reduce the reverb and delay during a vocal performance, but letting it ring out when there is silence on the vocal track. Okay, so what we have here, as you can tell, is a dry vocal line. This, um, it, you know, it might be recorded with a little compression or through your preamp with some light EQ or something, but for all intents and purposes, it's just raw vocals. It doesn't have any um, reverb or anything on this track. And now to get the reverb and stuff that we want, what I've done is I've created this auxiliary track here. And let me mute something real quick just so we can demonstrate. And all of the effects for the vocals are on this. Um, we're not gonna take a look at the compressor right now, um, but we have delay, which is the Kierhaus Audio Classic Delay, free to download, I really like it, use it all the time. Um, Magnus Audio uh, Ambience, which is, once again, great free download. And then a bit of re just because I don't like having certain frequencies in my reverb most of the time. So if we listen to it now what's happening is this source track has been routed to the secondary track um, just a you know one two channel to one two channel no side chain no nothing just a normal route to here and all of the reverb and delay is on this track so if we just listen to this it sounds and if we listen to it with the dry end the verb biting a, biting a sung biting a vocal song, track, song track, I'm just going to I'm provide a little bit of light narration. So now we're at the point that I think you've probably gotten to, where you have your dry vocals on one track, hopefully by themselves, and on another track, um, you've routed everything there and you're using this as your reverb and delay auxiliary send. Now, the trick at this point is what we want to do is have this signal up here drive a compressor on this track. Um, to the best of my knowledge, Reaper cannot allow multiple sends 
from the same track to the same track. So for example, I've already routed the dry vocals to this verb delay auxiliary track, audio channels one and two become audio channels one and two on the receiving track. And I don't think I can add another copy of this send and have it work as sidechain. So in order to bypass that, what I've done is I've duplicated the channel and we ha now have a secondary channel, which is an exact copy of the original. I really, I just right clicked and duplicated the track and it made this guy, I renamed it. Now, what I wanna do is I open up the routing on this track and first off, I turn off the master parent send. And what this means is that the audio from this track will work for routing purposes and we can do what we need with it. But when everything actually goes to the master bus for listening, it's not gonna go there. So it, it's effectively silent except for the effect it has on other tracks. And then what I've done is I've routed this track that is silent for all intents and purposes to the reverb delay track and I've set it so that audio one and two, the left and right signal from the source dry vocals aux send track here become audio tracks three and four, the auxiliary tracks on the effects auxiliary um, bus there. So if we take a look at the routing here, um, the effects track is receiving the dry vocals from the original source, which is fine. One and two become one and two, left and right become left and right. And then it's also receiving from the secondary copy of it um, that is silent and that audio left right signal becomes three and four on this track, which is the sidechain track. It basically means that it's not going to be sent to the master bus, but we can use it to affect things. And uh, so now I'm gonna unmute that. I had it muted for the earlier demonstration. And in the effects chain, we wanna add recomp or whatever compressor you use that can read auxiliary tracks. Set the detector input to the auxiliary input, not the main left and right one and two, but the left and right three and four and then just set up your compression to taste. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time modifying these settings, but what I did do is do kind of a slow release here. So, um, oh, and the other thing I did is because in my example, I wanted just a little bit of the reverb and delay audible um, when the normal line is sounding, I set this effects mix to about 84% wet. That way it's not as harsh of a um, disappearing effect sound. So now if we listen to nothing but the effects signal, it sounds like this. Oh, track. I'm just going to just buy I'm just buy I'm just buy I'm just buy I'm just buy This should have the same how that is that is that is let's unmute this so it actually does something Oh track I'm just going to just buy I'm just buy I'm just buy I'm just buy This should have the same how that As you can see when it the audio is signaling the effect basically goes away. It becomes very quiet. And we can set it to go away entirely by turning this up to 100 or changing our compression settings. Um, but then when the source audio is silenced, all we are left with is what's ringing out on the track here. Like that. So now listening through the whole thing from the beginning. Hi, Martin. I'm a pretty terrible singer. So instead of providing a sung vocal track, I'm just going to provide a little bit of light narration. This should have the same effect in that it has periods of time during which there is speech and then periods of time where there is no speech. Hopefully, this will serve as an effective demonstration of using sidechain compression to reduce the reverb and delay during a vocal performance, but letting it ring out when there is silence on the vocal track. Hi Martin. Hi Martin. Hi Martin. So there you go. Um, I hope this answers your question. Um, if you're looking to do something else where you only want to send certain parts of um, the source audio to the delay, what you could always do is get rid of this thing. You could get rid of the compressor. And what you could do is open up an automation lane where you set the send volume from the source track. And then you can just put in the certain parts you want. Now this will have a slightly different effect, um, but what you can do is uh, use this to selectively send portions of the source audio instead of selectively controlling how loud the um, receiving audio is. So let's say I just wanna send this line here. I'll just create a couple automation points and we'll raise this guy up to zero. So as you can see, nothing from the source signal is being sent to the delay except for this one line. So if we listen to it now, instead of providing a sung vocal track, I'm just going to provide a little bit of light narration. This should have the same effect in that it has 
periods of time during which there is speech. So that's another thing. Um, I'm only telling you about that just because I'm not 100% sure which one you are asking for, and hopefully this will give you an answer either way. And that's it. Martin, I hope this answered your question. If it didn't, um, hit me up. We can probably Skype real quick and get you an answer to this. Um, I know you said uh, you sounded too cranky in your comment, but you've been very frustrated with this. Anyone that's done audio production, I'm sure, can relate. So hopefully your frustration has ended and you're back to making the music you want to make. Everyone else watching, I hope this has helped. We'll do another one soon. And until next time, keep the world metal.